going on pickle toes welcome to another episode of the whiskered biscuit we're mushroom hunting again um out at my favorite spot been hunting this for quite a few years mushrooms are normally good landowner's cool and it's pretty and it's peaceful and i just like being out here so um pretty late in the season it's uh may 4th i think sounds about right typical indiana weather it went from 40 degrees to 80 degrees so um, went from waiting on everything to grow to it being too late to pick whatever so we'll see what we can savage today salvage today savage don't know we'll do one of those um which brings us to why we are here a couple of freshies one i found on the way crawling through this nastiness um it is a lot of uh knees and elbows down through here so We'll just make our way through it, see what we can find, click the camera back on when something gets good. Well, here, let's, let's handle these real quick. Doop, doop. Alright, a couple feet down the way. Here's Big Troy. Oh, Big Troy's seen better days. Uh, at least he's dropped all his spores. We'll have to be real gentle with him or he'll disintegrate in the bag. I'm not sure if I can make it all the way back with him, but we shall see. Um, another thing I've noticed this year, it's the land of singles. A lot of the trees I'll turn, typically get five, ten, maybe more off of, or just one this year. I think the weather screwed us over. Anywho, uh, I can cry about it, but it ain't going to do much. I may, but it probably won't be on camera. A little ditty about Jack and Diane. This is no more than... 15 yards from the last one. However, this one got enough shade that it's still nice and spongy. All right, not a bad initial start. All right, a few feet away. Uh, here's Big Ron. Hello, Big Ron. Oh, somewhere in between the dried out and the super fresh. I'll take him. All right, I think we may be on a slight pattern here. Walking through a bunch of thorns. All right, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I think I found more than one mushroom growing together. I know. Oh, they, ah, oh, shit. Okay, come on. However, these two, Look like the nicest ones yet. Let's just get over there. I'll stop talking about it. All right. You got that beauty and that guy right there. That might be the extra most bestest on the year so far. Uh, oh yeah, he's beautiful, beautiful. Got that one, and that guy, and let's see here, yep, I got a hider, seen better days, oh, it's alright, come with us, we'll take care of you, this might be my favorite find so far today, look at this majestic beast, that guy is so new, I could probably leave him for a little bit. Not going to, probably could. Let's get a look at him up close here. All right, new personal best. I've been in the woods 30 minutes and I haven't lost my knife yet. Okay. It's pretty. Let's find some more.
All right, that's what we had so far. That's what came out of that spot. And I see some big ones over there. Don't know how we're gonna get to them. And over there. Let's try. <laughs> Oops. Why am I flying? There you are. We got to him. Took some doing that we got there. All right. I'm going to switch bags here. Kind of on a, doing quite a bit of hunting today and we're already doing pretty well about 45 minutes in and I do not want to crush this stuff especially this time of year when they're kind of big and brittle so I've got a big large stupid green bag we'll pair everything in here might walk back to the car start all over again with an empty bag or we may do something that you probably should never do hide these in the woods somewhere make it real easy for somebody all right but by an agreement that it's probably not a good idea to hide our mushrooms in a tire raise your hand all right tire it is Hopefully I can get back to find them. All right, <clears throat> moved out of that stuff. I know there's more mushrooms there. I just wanted to stretch my legs a little bit. Moved out into the open woods on them pretty quickly. Problem is, down at the last spot I was looking for yellow to orange mushrooms on a black background. My eyes kind of got focused on looking for those. That's a little bit more camouflage. We'll have to slow down until the eyes readjust. All right. Voila. Beauties, beauties. Ain't no hiding that guy. Oh. Super fresh stuff still. Good sign. Next sycamore tree I checked. Right down the way. Doesn't appear to be throwing a huge flush, but if we can get one or two per tree, there's a couple of hundred of the trees out here, so that add up real quick. Another slick of whore. Seem to be a little late to this party. Uh, yep. All right, there's a stick we used to mark the path to hide the mushroom in the tire.
Aha! Still there. Apparently no one looks for mushrooms and tires anymore. Alright, let's get out of here. Made it back to the car. I'm tired. Uh, legs probably could have made it some more, but the eyes could not. So, I'm gonna call it a day. That's what we came up with. Um, not great, not bad. I'd say about 80% of my spots this year did not grow. Ones that did weren't too giving, but still fun. Um, also, last mushroom video I put out had 1,000 views, 20 some likes. That's honestly like 950 more views than I thought any of my videos would ever get. So appreciate you watching. Also had a one dislike or a thumbs down. So whoever you are, appreciate that too. Um, don't know how you don't like a guy walking through the woods picking mushrooms, but apparently you didn't and it's okay. Um, hope you watch this one and dislike it too. I hope you dislike it more than you dislike the last one. Thanks for watching.